plus? Are you even concerned that M plus that is meant to be, you know, world class comparable to the Tate and MoMA is already tarnished with censorship and that not even the most famous living Chinese artist Ai Weiwei can be displayed? Is it not a bit unusual to even mention national security and the opening of an art museum? The reason I mentioned about compliance with the law is because this is the first contemporary museum in Hong Kong. So therefore, I want to ensure that the message is clear so that people don't think that we are above the law. So this is the first principle that I always emphasize, particularly in the past there were some controversy regarding whether some exhibits might be in violation of law. So therefore, I want to emphasize that point first in order to lay the foundation that the opening of M plus does not mean we artistic expression is above the law. It is not. Now, as far as Tate Modern, MoMA of New York, or Pompidou, so societies evolved in their, in their standards, whether it's moral or legal standards. I have no doubt that MoMA New York probably have, have artwork in their archives that would not be displayed today because it would not be politically acceptable in today's environment. Same with Pompidou or, or Tate Modern. I have no doubt they have certain pieces in their archives that would not be displayed today. For example, whether it's racially uh, incorrect or whether it is an oppression of some sort of uh, a colored race. So there are evolutions. But if you look at that painting maybe a hundred years ago, it may be a work of art at that time. So therefore, every society do have certain evolutionary values, but the artistic freedom of expression is never in question. But as a public museum, we have a responsibility to ensure that it complies with all the laws and that we will respect uh, the society's cultural standards, whether it's color, creed, race, or religion. Thank you. So here